For those lucky enough to catch a glimpse of November's supermoon, you were treated to a super supermoon. Now, a regular old supermoon is still pretty special. That's when the full moon happens during its closest approach to Earth while on its elliptical orbit. There's approximately 48,000 kilometer difference between its closest point, perigee, and furthest point, apogee. When syzygy, the technical term for when the Earth, Sun, and Moon line up and perigee combine, we get a supermoon. To gazers down below, the moon appears slightly bigger and slightly brighter than when the moon is farther away from Earth. So what makes the supermoon extra special? Well, on November 14th, the moon turned full just two and a half hours after reaching perigee. The near perfect combination meant the moon appeared extra large in the sky, 14% larger to be exact and 30% brighter than when a full moon is at the opposite end of its orbit. Here's a good picture showing you what the difference looks like between the supermoon and a regular full moon. Now, because of the close timing, it was actually the largest since 1948. In fact, it was 50 kilometers closer than 1948. The next closest supermoon will be in 2034. Now, full disclosure, up high in the sky, both a full moon and supermoon look very similar actually, but when gazing at it through trees or beside buildings, that's when it's quite impressive. If you missed it, not to worry, you have some options. Photographers from around the world were able to capture the show, and while they might not be quite as bright, we are currently in a run of supermoons, and there'll be another one on December 14th. And of course, leave it to the internet to find another option. Just place a tortilla wrap on the window. And now, your science smart. If you've got a science question, send me a tweet, and I'll try to get it answered.